Meanwhile, Donald Trump did a big interview in the Wall Street Journal last week, and last week, Friday, something like that. Now, uh, the journal published the highlights of the interview in a relatively flattering article using phrases like, Mr. Trump hopscotched across a variety <laughs> of policy and personal topics. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Hopscotch is a physical activity that requires the ability to count to 10. It doesn't <laughs> pass the smell test on that one. Now, the Wall Street Journal, here's the thing, the Wall Street Journal did not release the full transcript of the interview, but last night Politico did, uh, and it's really less hop and uh, more scotch. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, there is no footage of Trump saying this stuff, but luckily, we were able to get live via satellite speaking exclusively in actual answers from the interview. Please welcome Cartoon Donald Trump. Cartoon Mr. President. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Great, great. Thank you for being with us, sir. Now, I hear you've been working on international trade deals. How's that going? So I deal with foreign countries, and despite what you may read, I have unbelievable relationships with all the foreign leaders. They like me, I like them, you know, it's amazing. So I call, like, major, major countries, and I'll be dealing with the prime minister or the president, and I'll say, how are you doing? So your idea of foreign policy is calling people just to say hi? Can I suggest your next secretary of state be a lonely grandmother? Okay, so do, do your conversations with foreign leaders touch on any policy issues? You call places like Malaysia, Indonesia, and you say, you know, how many people do you have? And it's pretty amazing how many people they have. How many people they have? Wow, normally to get that information, you have to check a Snapple cap. Uh, good tip, good tip. Okay, now, have you made any progress with international trade deals? When I was with President Xi, who I have a very good relationship with, I said, do me a favor. Would you allow cattle, please, to come in? I was last night in West Virginia, and I had farmers coming up to me and hugging me and kissing me because of the cattle stuff. Wow, I, I didn't know you were into cattle stuff. Now, <laughs> you, you, you've, tweeted, you've tweeted about trade talks with Britain. Can you tell us any more about what's going on? No, but I can say that we're going to be very involved with the UK. I mean, you don't hear the word Britain anymore. It's very interesting. It's like, nope. <laughs> but you just said the word Britain. Nope. <laughs> okay, uh, on another point, you recently called the US the highest tax nation in the world, but the data shows that's clearly Denmark. We're the highest taxes nation in the world. We have nobody knows what the number is, but I mean, it used to be when we talked during the debate, 2.5 trillion, right? When the most elegant person, right? I call him Mr. Elegant. What did any of that mean? <laughs> and, 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 and I know this is something you actually said, but. Who is Mr. Elegant? I call him Mr. Elegant. Well, how do you do? It's an absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance. It is I, Mr. Elegant. But you can call me Lord Winston Elegante III, Esquire. And, and who are you? Oh, I'm the president's imaginary friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm hosting a raging party for three million imaginary voters! Cartoon Trump and Mr. Elegant, everybody! Es